This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. What's up guys, Leon here. Welcome back to Tesla and Mare. If you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, vibration and frequency. Nikola Tesla. There's something mystical about wireless energy transmission. If you don't understand the physics behind it, you might think it is magic. Tesla's inventions were not as popular back then as they are today. People didn't understand what was happening there. He was working with a phenomenon that opened up new doors for him. The resonance. Today we will try to transmit energy through the air as simply as possible. But not only 10 centimeters, maybe 1 meter. In addition, I will present you a technique how you can improve your experiments by a lot. So be curious guys. Before we start with the experiments, let's talk briefly about the theory. This is a normal transformer, the simplest form of wireless power transmission. An alternating current flows through a coil. The change in current flow in the coil creates a changing magnetic field around the coil. Now a very important rule. By changing the magnetic flux density, a current is induced in a conductor. At least this is what Michael Faraday said. So, in a transformer, simply put, a current flow is converted into a magnetic field and the magnetic field is converted back into a current flow. So, this is kind of wireless energy transmission. This works very efficiently in a transformer, but if we remove the iron core, the efficiency decreases enormously. At the latest, when we increase the distance between the two coils, there is no noticeable transmission. Another solution is needed. To improve the wireless power transmission significantly, we actually need only two components. Two capacitors. These are connected in parallel to the coil. Now we don't just have only two coils, we have two oscillating circuits. Each oscillating circuit has its own frequency, the resonant frequency. The specific frequency changes with the value of the coil and the capacitance of the capacitor. If we increase the capacitance of the capacitor, the resonant frequency decreases. This is also logical because the capacitor needs more time to recharge. Here is the hidden secret of the wireless energy transmission. If the two oscillating circuits have the same resonant frequency, we don't only have two oscillating circuits. These oscillating circuits are now coupled. The technical term resonant inductive coupling. But what does that mean exactly? Have you ever heard about the phrase same attracts same? This can be applied to all things in life, <laughs> also to our oscillator. If the transmitter circuits emit a magnetic field, which changes the polarity and the resonance frequency, the second coil, the receiver circuit, is excited by this magnetic field. This is because the transmitted magnetic field has the same frequency as the resonant frequency of the receiver resonant circuit. The receiver oscillating circuit now also starts to oscillate. It oscillates more and more, and with more and more we mean the induced voltage. It is like this pendulum. My finger is a magnetic field. I always add energy to the system only when the pendulum is at the reachable point again. Thus, the pendulum swings stronger and stronger. With our receiving oscillating circuit, we can use the received energy quite simple. In parallel to the oscillating circuit capacitor comes a rectifier, followed by a capacitor, which smooths the voltage. Yeah guys, and that's it, our wireless energy circuit is ready. Now we come to the test. As a transmitter, we will use this coil. In combination with this capacitor, it creates an oscillating circuit, which is controlled by a simple ZVS circuit. As I mentioned earlier, both oscillating circuits must have the same resonant frequency. So the simplest way is to use an identical coil with an identical capacitor as a receiver. Since capacitors always have a certain tolerance and the coil cannot be copied completely, the two oscillating circuits are not perfectly in resonance. But nearly. It will work anyway. As load, I have connected the LED to the receiver. We don't need a rectifier for an LED because an LED is a diode. However, you should not forget the pre-resistor. Before we now push the limits of our system, we measure the frequency at which the transmitter transmits. 
The frequency is about 54.3 kHz. If I now increase the oscillating circuit capacitance, the frequency becomes lower. This can be seen very nicely on our oscilloscope. I will leave the input voltage at 12V for now, but later we will increase the voltage. I now hold the coil with the LED over the transmitter. This already looks very good. Let's test the distance at which the LED stops lightning. It stops at around about 46 cm. By the way, you can reduce the size of the receiver by quite a bit. Then you have such a cool little wireless LED. Now we test the full power. I turn up the input voltage to 40 volts and go. The maximum distance at which the LED still lights up is now around about 70 cm. I got such a pancake call from my sponsor JLC PCB. Let's see how it works with that one. JLC PCB is a PCB manufacturer which allows you to make your own PCBs. For only $2 you already get 5 PCBs. If that is not a good price, you can even go one step further. If you use the PCB assembly service, you don't even have to assemble the boards. Believe me, especially with SMD components you save a lot of trouble. The only thing you have to do is save your Gerber file as a zip file. Once this is done, select the desired parameters. Lead free? <laughs> yeah, definitely. What color are you in favor of? <laughs> Purple is sexy, isn't it? Just upload the file, order and you're done. Within 24 hours your PCB will be produced. And a few days later they will arrive. If you register at JLC PCB via the link in the video description, you will get 4 coupons with a total value of $27. I have replaced the coils with the pancake coils. Now we can transfer energy from PCB to PCB. That's pretty cool, isn't it? But I really want to reach a distance of 1 meter. Back to our old setup. And I also want to tell you about a special technique. Here's what it is. We can add a third oscillating circuit to the oscillating circuits, an amplifier. We place it between the transmitter and the receiver. The principle behind it is simple. The amplifier oscillating circuit is excited by the transmitter to oscillate because it has the same resonant frequency. Now the amplifier also emits a magnetic field. With this we can increase the distance by a lot. I will now show you this in practice. Now we are able to transmit energy over a distance about 110 centimeters. I'm very satisfied with this. So guys, wireless energy transmission is nothing new. But there's one good reason why I produce this video. I want to fly a small drone wirelessly with no battery on board. This should be very cool. If you don't want to miss it guys, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Leave me a comment down below and then guys we'll see us in the next video.